Okay, what we have here is a little over 200 volts RF output. Uh, that's down on the... Uh, hard to see that. But that's a... Uh, that's a 5 down there, right down over here. That's a 5. And we got a 10 to 1... Uh, yeah, can you see that on here? Let me see. That's a, uh, a PR46. It's a BK. Uh, scope probe. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, 30.7 milliamps on the uh, power supply going in. Now, You've, we've, let me turn up to about 400 volts here. There we go. 31 volts. And it's 50, 100, 150, 200, 200 volts AC output. And let's see what the... That's the load cell right there. I'm running 110 degrees for... This thing's been running for a good... Uh, 20 minutes. We're running, what are we running output? About 9.68 watts of RF output. Pumping in about 13.7 watts. And this tube is the uh, EL84. It says it's good for 300 volts at 65 milliamps, which works out to... 0.065. Uh, it says it'll. You can put in 19 half watts input. It claims uh, 5.7 watts. This is a audio tube, by the way. No specifications that I could find for audio or for radio frequency. We're running about 70% efficiency input output power. This circuit. And we showed this on the last video. <coughs> We replaced the R4L2 uh, tank with a, no, let me see, I'll, these are, this is one of the tanks, it's an air coil, uh, showed this last time, we're running at 17 turns I believe on that one, got to keep notes. Uh, okay, we got the APC40 uh, picofarad variable air capacitor with a FT-125-67, that's 67 material, ferret torrid for the uh, LC tank for the plate. That was for the R4L2, and then the LE1356 LC tank we made, 17 turns of air uh, in a Johnson M 15 picofarad air capacitor for the other tank, the uh, Johnson tank is for the uh, grid. <clears throat> so we've got a capacitor filtering the uh, DC from the plate. So we've got the uh, plate tank here, uh, capacitor, and then we have a, another the uh, grid tank. The 13.56 uh, crystal down here. The RF out we were we're taking is off of over here. This is the load cell R5, the 5K load cell, 25 watts. Uh, this is where we hook the scope up with no ground, and then we have an antenna inside the box, black box, uh, 50 uh, ohm coax cable. It's about a two foot long coax cable, and that is grounded to the box. So. All of this was on the last video. Radio frequency choke. This is the EL84 tube. Another radio frequency choke down here. All the values right over here. Again, that crystal. 
uh, crystal was a AS-13.56 MAHE-B, let's say, crystal using digital circuits, about 25 cents, you can get that at DigiKey, it's fairly easy to find, it wasn't really designed for a tube, but it works fine on here, and... This has been replaced. This was non-adjustable. The L2R4 has been replaced with the uh, <clears throat> the uh, variable plate tank. Again, that has been replaced. The L1, L2 has been replaced. And we'll show you what it looks like here. We're going to turn the monster off. You're going to see when we turn it off, RF is dead. Okay. There we go. Inside the black box. This is the air core. This was the LE1356 we designed, built. Johnson M uh, air capacitor right here. 17 turns. It's warm. It's not going to burn my finger. A uh, half inch uh, PVC uh, sprinkler pipe. Then we've got the Octel 8 base and then the uh, Octel 8. It's a tube socket here. This was the mm, R4 L2 replacement for the plate. This is the uh, APC uh, 40 a Pico Farad adjustable uh, air capacitor. It's got a lock on here. You can lock that. When you adjust this thing, you need to run the voltage down about 200 volts. Otherwise, you're going to get arcing here when you're doing about 400. You put your screwdriver on here, it's going to arc. So, 200 volts, you can tune this thing. And then this is the... Uh, I can touch it. It's, it's a little warm. It's not it burn my fingers. Yeah, it's fairly warm. Anyhow, this is about a uh, uh, I think it's about a $4 uh, ferret core Torrid that was the FT 125-67 ferret uh, core so that's about the right frequency <clears throat> and everything else we showed the last video the crystal is in this little circuit board right in here with some of the capacitors and resistors keep stuff as short as possible we got some stuff soldered the rest of it's actually crimped into the uh, terminal board you can uh, tune this with your scope 10k resistor uh, let me see that schematic here to tune that <clears throat> you get your tank coil uh, adjustable air capacitor here this will be your ground and then you've got a 10k resistor over here your scopes gonna hook on B and C and then you, the function generator on A and C and then you're gonna turn that function generator to tune that thing so you're running at 13.56 and you want to uh, well we did put a dot on here so we, we know what the ballpark is this is how far off uh, it's, it's a bit off of that tune from the uh, scope but you're going to tune the uh, grid and then once you get that tune you do the same thing we actually got the uh, 10k resistor we left it on here so we could actually tune it in the box <clears throat> get that in a ballpark put it in here then you're gonna tune this after you tune the uh, grid again 200 volts otherwise you're gonna get arcing right here uh, and there you have it